last 12 months has been very busy for me, uh, not reducing space, but looking at what quality space we can get uh, as we come back. Right. Uh, so uh, during the pandemic, probably we looked at flexible spaces that, uh, you know, flexible leases that we could probably reduce slightly, but not so much of a change. So um, I, I really think it's going to be uh, in line with what business growth is going to be, uh, coupled with your future work. Uh, playbook, right, uh, and your show ups to office, right, and and then uh, the co corporate real estate is going to need to balance uh, growth and also right sizing of the portfolio. So that's 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 my view on this thing. Okay, makes sense. Rain, help me out here. If if we've got uh, you know a shift to hybrid and people saying they're going to come in the office three days a week, why wouldn't we see a greater reduction? Uh, in office space, you know, what, 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 what's sort of stopping us there? Um, yeah, it sort of seems to me that there's a bit of a, a mismatch. What, 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 why wouldn't we see you know, office vacancies completely well, fall uh, and people shedding more space? Well, good question, because for all the talks on um, how hybrid working models are the future of workplace, but much less have been said on how and why some businesses may not be able to immediately adopt this model, you know, due to inflexible spaces and huge uh, investment required in retrofitting the space. So in, in, in all is how do we make use of what we have in the current space and make that, uh, that tweak on increasing employee experience, not only by space, but different things like benefits, you know, uh, it could be just, you know, good snacks, pantries and that sort of stuff as part of the return to work uh, strategy. So. Uh, different ways, but uh, it do take time to to, to implement um, where you are at your current leases and all. 